Hello everyone and welcome to Tuesday. Today what I have for you guys is a bins haul and that is because I went to the bins yesterday all on my own. Actually Ryan and I had planned to go together because he was supposed to get off of student teaching early but he in fact did not. So I went alone and he really didn't miss out on a whole ton. The first, like, I'd say hour that I was there, I didn't find anything. I think I found one thing, and it's this, like, shacket right here. Nothing else. So I was feeling super defeated. The bins have honestly been not that good for a long time. Like, the past, like, four or five times that I've went, they have just been terrible. So, yeah, they weren't that great at first, but they got better towards the end. Still could have been better, but they were pretty decent. I still was able to fill a big old bag, so I definitely found some things, and I'm excited to show you guys what I found. At the bottom of the bag is the shoes, so the shoes will be at the end. So yes, we are back to regular scheduled programming. The fall and Halloween content has unfortunately come to an end. We are back to the Great White Wall. Nothing fun on it, just the Great White Wall and our fun, of course, outlet cover. But we are back to hauls, back to Thrift With Us, back to whatever we kind of feel like doing or whatever you guys want us to do. So if you have any suggestions, feel free to leave those below. And also, while you're down there, there's a little thumb up symbol. If you want to hit that, that would be awesome too. And if you're new here, you can hit the subscribe button if you're excited to see a bunch of fun clothes and future hauls. So let's just jump into it. No need to babble on. First thing that I found, I'm gonna show this first because it is still wet because I washed it. This is a North Face puffer, down puffer, and there's the logo there. And this is like a nice quilted one. This is a women's, and it had quite a lot of just like dirtiness to it, but actually it all looks like it came out pretty well. I know you're probably not supposed to wash these, but I just do anyways. This is a woman's medium, and yeah, there's no tears, no like name written in it, which is nice, no holes. Let's jump into the other clothes, and like I said, the shoes are on the bottom, so the shoes are going to be at the end. So the first thing I found, this is the Patagonia, and this is Patagonia that I would only get in the bins. I would not get this at all. A normal thrift store and actually I maybe shouldn't have even got it anyways so this is Patagonia Capeline and it's a kids item I think this is like a base layer type item but I see it has quite a few spots even though I already washed this too so they didn't come out so this will probably just go back to Goodwill. Then this is a brand that Ryan picks up a lot, especially at the bins, and he seems to have pretty good luck selling it, so I'm just gonna give it a try. It's Cache. And Cache, I know, used to be like a really expensive brand, but they closed. I don't know, this gives me like Versace vibes. So maybe it'll do okay. It is a size small, and I know Ryan definitely likes to pick up the more interesting stuff, but he saw this and he told me, because I already hauled for him. He told me that he thinks it'll do okay, so hopefully he's right. Then, this is one of those items that, like, you just don't skip it when it's at the bins. It's just an Athleta size small, with a, like, athletic-y, cinched, ruched kind of top. Something I wouldn't get at the normal Goodwill, and if anything, I could end up consigning it if I can't seem to sell it myself. This is another thing that would be a bins item only, not a thrift store item. This is Divided, which is H&M, and it is the team up with Looney Tunes. So I've sold a few pieces of this before, of this collaboration, um, a while ago. And I always get it from the bins. It doesn't sell for much because it's literally H&M. But people like branded and like graphic stuff, so usually it does pretty good. Then we have this John Galt item, which usually I'd probably throw to Ryan. This is pretty cute though, and of course he wasn't there. So it's one size. If you didn't know, John Galt is Brandy Melville. And this is like a cropped tiger sweatshirt. It does have some like kind of discoloration bleach spots around the logo. To me, that's not that big of a deal. I think it'll still do pretty well. And if it doesn't do well, I will give it to Ryan. <laughs> this is really interesting. And I would like you guys' input if you know anything about this. I'm kind of confused. So it's like this pink tie. I found a whole bunch of designer ties. Those are already sent off to the real real. I sent them this morning. But this is the one that I'm keeping to sell myself. And it is the tie bar. And it's like they teamed up with Beholden, which if you don't know, Beholden, this B-H-L-D-N, 
is the Anthropology Wedding Store line, whatever. But they don't make men's. I'm At least I'm like 90% sure they don't make men's. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think they do. And I don't think this is a women's tie. It is like slim, but I still think it's men's. So if anyone knows, like is the tie bar brand, is this a collaboration? Does Beholden sell sets? Like maybe this matches a dress? I don't know. Beholden usually sells pretty well. I've never had something Beholden under men's, so we'll see. Then we have this vintage L.L. Bean. It is a shacket. Like I said, this is a size large. Like I said, this is the first thing I found. I think it's really nice. It's like the thick, like, worker's shirt or whatever they used to call shackets. Now we just call them shackets. <laughs> but this is like more like the Levi's shacket that I got myself this year, where it's not like quilted lined or anything, but it's like thick, thick flannel. And I think it's really nice. Good colors for fall. Vintage L.L. Bean can sometimes do pretty decent, so we'll see how that does. I don't try it very often. Then we have this Free People. A couple, like, months back at the bins, I found two of the exact same this sweater in two different colors at the bins, and now I found it in another color. So it has no size, but it's this puff sleeve textured sweater. Can you see? Yeah, there's the texture. It's like bobbled kind of it's almost like super pilly but on purpose sometimes they have size nope no size down here i would say it's like a small probably this is supposed to be an oversized sweater so i mean it probably could even fit a medium just cropped but i would say it's probably meant to be a small this was the this is also a free people this was the first thing that i found that wasn't just like desperation items <laughs> like i literally like i had found the ll bean thing I had found the designer ties, which like, that's good, but it's not that exciting. Like it was like Armena Gilda Zegna and Oscar de la Renta and Paco Rabanne. So not like Hermes and Louis. So it wasn't that exciting. So then when I found this, I was like, oh my gosh, I found gold. Even though usually I'd be like, I don't like this that much. This is a free people size small, not like my favorite sweater, but again, when you're finding nothing, this seems amazing. This is really hard to show, I'm realizing. So it's kind of like the waterfall effect on the sides. It's almost like a lagging look type sweater. Oh my gosh, this is really irritating to show. Okay, so there are the shoulders. Okay, so here we go. There's a better look at it. I don't know. Next up, this is really cute. And this is a vintage t-shirt that is so perfect for the now current season, which is Thanksgiving. There is no year on this, but I assume it is vintage. And it is not official Peanuts brand, but it is Thanksgiving Charlie Brown graphic t-shirt. This is so cute. I don't think I've ever seen Charlie Brown and Snoopy Thanksgiving merch before. Like I've seen the Halloween stuff, obviously I've seen the Christmas stuff, but that's so cute. And it's a large, and it's probably a men's large, but it could be worn oversized, or it could be like an XL or something, I suppose. It looks like there's like a little bit of red on the bottom, but that's totally fine. Then we have another Patagonia. This is an older item. Probably wouldn't have got in a normal thrift store either, unless it was really cheap. There is the label, and it's a large, I believe. I had thought it was women's. It might be like a more form-fitting men's because it's like athletic. And unfortunately there's no Patagonia logo on the outside. Actually with that high-ish, low-ish waist, it's probably women's. So it's kind of a looser fitting athletic top. So it's like a outer wear piece. Then we have this Urban Outfitters Truly Madly Deeply. This normally again would probably be thrown to Ryan, but since he wasn't there, I will probably list this myself. I literally might just give it to him because he doesn't get a source as much right now. But this is a Monarch Butterfly tee. This is kind of like a knockoff of what Brandy Melville does because she does that all the time. And that is a size small. And then this is going to Ryan, but I'll still show you guys because he would normally pick this up. Must have been dry cleaned. <laughs> dry cleaned by someone named, let me block their last name, someone named Ryan. So that's very fitting. These are American Apparel shorts. 
There's the logo. And Ryan loves to sell this stuff. It does really well for him. I cannot sell it for the life of me, just like Randy Melville and just like Urban, but he'll be able to sell it and happy to get him a couple things. This next one, I just want to show you, but I realized yesterday that it has a hole, so I'll probably just re-donate it. There's a new brand that we had never heard of. It's like BCB, B-S-B-E-E, -E. B-S-B, B-S-B, I don't know. Bees B? I don't know. It's a wool and cashmere blend sweater. Okay, maybe I could stitch it up then. Uh, I should look into this more before I decide if I'm gonna just get rid of it. But I think it's a men's sweater and it was sold on Ukes when I looked up this brand, which is like a pretty expensive website. Size large. It's probably a men's kind of like designer obscure brand. I'm gonna look more into it, but just now if you see it, it's pretty expensive. Then we have this, which I freaking love. This is a vintage leather belt. All of a sudden when I was at the bins, I was just like, when I was looking through the ties, I was like, oh my gosh, I haven't found like vintage leather belt, like a good vintage leather belt in a long time. Cause I don't like to just get the like plain black ones. I like the like Western ones or floral or embossed. And then a little bit later, I found this. And this is probably one of my favorite vintage belts I've ever had. This is genuine leather and it is a size medium, which I will just have to measure that out. I have no idea what brand it ever was. There is no labeling, but it has all different kinds of flowers embroidered on it. And it's so cute. And like we always say, we love to sell vintage belts when they're interesting. This is probably my best find, at least, no, maybe. You'll see what I mean when I get there. So this is really freaking nice. This is vintage Pendleton from like OG, like this must be, I should look into the like Pendleton label age thing, but this is like really old Pendleton, I can tell. And it is like this, amazing green and red perfect for christmas wool zipper bomber and it's oh my gosh like this wool is like so high quality it's insane the only issue is one side is kind of i don't know if like a moth got to it or something but one wrist it's kind of like chewed a little bit you could kind of trim it up to make it just look prettier and the other one's like not pretty either but like not that bad and then one of the pockets is busted out but one of them's still fine do you need both probably could you live without them probably. And like shockingly, there's no lining ripping. There's no deodorant stains. It's dry clean only. I wish I could figure out like what age this is from, but this is just like so, so freaking nice. And I think it'll do really well. I'm going to charge a decent amount for it. Did I say, I don't think it has a size. It seems kind of like a men's large. So maybe like women's XL. Then we have this tiny by Anthropology. This is kind of in the same boat as that brown free people were i wasn't finding anything so i was like wow anthro this is an extra small and the tiny label is tiny and it's just kind of this like open cardigan it's kind of like that pink athleta where it's like i wouldn't get this at a store and if it doesn't sell i can probably consign it somewhere then we have these really nice shoes and these are ferragamo men's shoes these will probably be sent to the real real because I just don't picture that I could sell them that well. But if anyone's interested, they are a size eight. Super nice. This is the item that possibly is my best thing, but possibly is nothing at all. And this is a scarf that I thought this was coach because this print looked so familiar. I was like, I've seen this before, this print. And I thought it was like, if you know Coach, like tea and rose, they're little like roses that they do. This looks a lot like it. So I was like, oh, a Coach scarf. Like, that's fine. I can sell a Coach scarf. But it's also check print. And what is check print? Please be patient as I struggle with this scarf. Burberry. It says Burberry all over it. Here's another one right there and another one right there. So it says Burberry everywhere. Unfortunately, the label is cut off, which is just fantastic. Gotta love that. You buy an expensive scarf and you just chop off the tag. Like, why would you do that? I've went back and forth on the edges of this thing like a hundred times. 
and there is no label left. Ryan said to me when I showed him exactly what I thought. If you were gonna knock off a Burberry scarf, why would you pick this one? Like, it's really cute, but I feel like... Can you see me? I feel like the factories that knock off designer, like, Burberry stuff would knock off, like, purely Novacek stuff, trench coats, stuff that's just, like, the tan and black Novacek. But, like, this has Burberry printed in it. All the floral details, like, really well done. I don't know, if anyone has, like, a tip or what they think I should do to figure this out, please let me know. Like, I would assume it's real, but you can't just, like, list it and be like... <laughs> I assume it's real. Okay, so let's move on to the shoes. Even though we already talked about those Ferragamos. These I actually grabbed for Debbie, but I think I'm gonna sell them myself because they're really cute. So they're these really cute croc embossed, like Sherpa fur, faux fur lined toms. They're just like high top little ankle booty things with some suede on the back. And they're actually in really good shape. And they're size six and a half. I really like them and I think they'll do well. Then we have these Steve Maddens. These are not ones that I would get at the store. Luckily they're like in good shape and they are cute. It's just not a style that I would like be willing to pay too much for because like they'll probably sell for like 25 and these are a size eight and a half and they're called the steve madden feather and they're studded and they might be suede yes they are actually suede so at least they're in good shape then someone had thrown these back these are birkenstock Berkies, and they're just like the mules and they have some wear to the tips of the nose of the toes and they're a size lady six men's four so those are nice and right next to them someone had also thrown back these other these are burko which i'm gonna assume is also birkenstock oh yeah original birkenstock but burko i've never heard of there's so many birkenstock lines i can't even keep track these are also a lady six so if someone was interested they could buy both from me they both have like kind of the same amount of wear just some like edge wear then another pair of shoes someone had thrown back these are not in the best shape and i honestly hate selling shoes by this brand but they're eileen fisher these are like her classic wrap strappy leather sandals they have some toe indents but otherwise like the outsides and stuff are clean and like your feet would hide that so they are in good shape but i just like cannot sell eileen shoes or clothes but the shoes too and they are a size nine and a half so they're not too bad on the bottom either and they're in good shape it was just like hard to skip because like it is really nice leather and like they retail at what like 300 bucks and last but not least these if you know fashion and you know some like signature styles by some expensive luxury brands you know what these look like and what these look like are the chloe studded i don't know the name of the style I just know that these are Chloe knockoffs or Chloe dupes. They're like studded black, like buckle boots. They look just like this. And I saw that the size was 38, so it was in like European sizing. And I was like, oh my gosh, Chloe's. But no, these are actually still something good. These are Jeffrey Campbell boots. But unfortunately, when I found the second one, we have this problem. So the bottom of the heel of the right boot has like come off. I, I'm gonna take the lazy way out. And I think I'm just gonna list them this way. I believe that these will still do okay. Obviously I'm not gonna make a ton of money. I think that they will still sell with this problem. I will just put in the description, you need to get them like resold or get a new heel cap on them. But I believe in them. Like I said, they're when they're a dupe of like a high-end signature style, they usually do pretty good. They're called the Starburst, and these are a size 38. So they're like a seven and a half or eight. And yeah, they're really, really cute. It sucks that this is busted off. I don't even think like these were in a bin people had went through, but they were buried. So I don't even think someone threw them back because of this. No one must have seen them. Hopefully they still do okay. This one's totally fine. I mean, you could just kind of like walk with like a up down motion if you want to just wear them this way, I guess. Anyways, unfortunately, that is all that I have for you guys today. I know this was a pretty short haul. First off, it was only just me, so I can't take up as much time as the two of us hauling together. And also, like I said, the bins, they got a little better at the end, as you can tell, with like the Pendleton and some of those shoes. But like, they still, 
just weren't that good. The bins have been like not great like the past five times that I've went. So hopefully soon they will get better. Ryan and I are going to go to the bins this next Sunday because Friday's his birthday. So happy early birthday to Ryan. He wants to go on Sunday. So that's what we're gonna do. Gonna go on Sunday. So next Tuesday, we should have a haul for you guys. We don't know exactly what we're doing on Thursday yet. So if you have any ideas or recommendations or requests, let us know below. And besides that, I will see you guys on Thursday with something. Bye.